today's video, I'm going to show you a better version of the 335 wide meta defense. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day right here on the YouTube channel. Now, the defense that we're going to be talking about today, it uses the same blitzing principles that the nickel 335 wide does. In fact, it's actually super simple to set this play up. You can do this from pretty much any play in the nickel 245 odd. But the beauty of this is you're going to get better and more consistent five-man pressure uh, against the meta, which is the, uh, which is the gun bunch. So in this video, we're going to break that down for you. Now, if you want to get my full nickel 245 odd uh, defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. Video, you can get the entire defensive ebook for just $15. It's a one time purchase of $15, and we continue to update that ebook throughout the year as new blitzes come out, as new concepts come out that we want to share, and as patches come out that change the way coverages work. We break all of that stuff down for you guys 100% free of charge. So, again, it's just a one time purchase of $15, and you get the ebook for the life of Madden 22. So, super, super excited to share this video with you. And, like I said, we are going to show you how you can basically turn the nickel 245 odd into the nickel 335 wide in terms of how your blitzes are going to be super, super effective. So to do this, I'm going to pick any play from the... 245 odd. In this example, I'm just going to come out in a basic cover three sky. I think that's the best one to, to base out of because it creates a very simple setup for us and it gives you a really easy user ability from this formation. So we're going to come out of the nickel 245 odd and literally the setup is really, really simple. All we're going to do is we are going to base a line. We're going to show blitz. And then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and globally blitz all of my uh, linebackers. And then I'm just simply gonna user on this one right here. So you see, I'm just user in this linebacker right here. Super simple. It's basically Mike Blitz three. And at the snap of the ball, uh, you can also contain if you want to. Um, so we're gonna contain here. But at the snap of the ball, what you should see is we're gonna get instant pressure off that left edge. Now, just like the 335 wide, this is gonna be a really good defense run for a couple reasons. The first one is because it's super simple to set up. Like literally, I'm done. Like literally, I have a couple clicks and I'm done and the blitz is gonna absolutely scream. Right there, we got picked up. Um, it actually, honestly, this is just my opinion, uh, but I actually think that this blitz works better just not even not even blitzing your line or uh, like not even uh, containing as you see right there completely clean pressure super fast and like i said this is really super fast to set up you can base a line like in your coaching settings you're already going to be base aligned and then literally just show blitz and blitz all linebackers and then you don't have to use her if you don't want to use her edwards that's fine either one of the middle linebackers just put the linebacker over the nose guard just like this and that's going to significantly help so you see why i like to use her the right side linebacker though it does it does work better in my opinion but you can use her either one to be honest uh, and you'll still be fairly effective so again just kind of pinch this guy in you can put him in a zone or you can put him in you know whatever but you'll see right here this is going to get crazy consistent pressure it's super super consistent and what i love about it is it literally requires no setup it's it's basically done for you literally you just come out globally blitz your linebackers you don't even have to show blitz and baseline the pressure is going to come in it does not matter what you do the pressure will 100 percent come in now uh, let me show you how to take this blitz to the next level so the way you take the blitz to the next level is you can go ahead and crash your defensive line to the right and by crashing our defensive line to the right we're going to get this little crossover uh blitzing angle and what you're going to see is it's just going to kind of continue to clean up the pressure off of the left edge you saw but it also puts that uh lineman in a significant amount of conflict and it forces a lot of pressure on your opponent. let me show you one more time so again we just crash the line left you see how we get these disengages all over the line of scrimmage and someone sometimes we'll get some gap pressure as a result of that okay now brady apparently can break every sack in the book but as you you can see the pressure is very good so now what i want to do is i want to show you the first adjustment that people do whenever you start coming in consistently it's the same adjustment to what people do whenever you use the nickel 335 
wide. What I'm going to do is instead of blocking my running back, I'm going to put the tight end on a delay fade. So we just put the tight end on a delay fade here, and I want you to see how this is going to do. Typically, the pressure comes in. I think I forgot to um, crash my D-line down or crash my D-line to the right. So let me show you that one more time. So again, we're going to globally blitz our linebackers, crash our line down or to the right, and then you're going to stand kind of like right in here, ideally. And what you should see is that right there. You get this little looping edge rush angle that is really, really effective. Now, the other thing that you can do, um, the other thing that you could do from a user perspective is put your guy on a zone. And I have had uh, some significant levels of success with this because the zone, when you put him on the zone, you see that right there happens. That little tackle angle gets really wonky and you're able to really mess with the offensive line. So for what it's worth, that might be something that you can do. And then now let me show you the next adjustment. So the next adjustment, and this one's probably not going to be too bad, is they're going to block the running back. So all we're going to do is we're holding left trigger. And what you're going to see is when they block the running back, you're going to come off the, you're going to basically scream through the middle and off the edge. So let me show you what happens. And this is really why this defense is so dang good because the pressure you get is so glitchy. Watch they snap the ball. And if I'm the quarterback, you got someone coming right down the middle at your opponent. They've got to at least feel that pressure. So they may try to pop out like a quick flat or something super fast. And then you've got your other guy coming around completely untouched at the quarterback. And you've got your B-gap disengaged. And you've got your A-gap disengaged. So super, super fast pressure. And you've got a lot of people coming in relatively quickly uh, against, this, against this back. So when the running back blocks... It's actually normally more. It's it's actually normally better. Um, it makes this blitz ironically better. So how do they pick the blitz? How do they pick the blitz up? You might ask. Well, to me, the best thing they can do is to block both their tight end and their running back. So let me show you what that looks like. You're gonna see that for the most part it picks it up. But now I'm gonna show you an adjustment. Man, Brady is just breaking everything. But I'm gonna show you an adjustment that you can do to this that will make this even better. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna contain rush. So we're gonna do everything that we just did, and the difference is we're gonna QB contain. Now when I max protect, what you'll see is typically, if that contain can get around the edge, and you might need to baseline to get that contain to get a little wider, but you'll see here, if we can get that contain to get around the edge, you almost always get that right there. And, and when that contain can come in, that is max protect instant pressure so we have other blitzes in our ebook that are a little bit more consistent against max protect i will say max protect for the most part does a pretty decent job specifically against this blitz but i will also say that you've got a lot i mean for the fact that they're gonna have to max protect is is not a good thing and they can't pick this up what i like about this is they can't delay fade and just everything works they can't, they can't get by with just delay fading and having everything work perfectly. It's not going to happen. Typically, you're going to get pretty decent edge heat. If you don't get edge heat, oftentimes I get that defensive tackle on a quick little disengage um, type of deal. You know, but this is a real, I mean, I really like this pressure a lot. Because um, you see right there, and that time we got picked up, but... You know, for the most part, you know, this is a great way to really put a lot of pressure on your opponent. And I, I just can't, I can't even, I can't even tell you how much I love the fact that if they block their running back, you're going to scream right through the A-gap and off the edge. Like, that's huge to me. And it's going to force them to have to delay for their tight end, which in turn is going to significantly limit where they can actually hit us Um where they can actually hit us in terms of uh, passing. So they can't throw, I you know, more than likely they're not going to throw a lot of flat routes. Um, and if honestly, I will tell you that in the, in the defensive guide, we have a ton of pressures that you'll be able to use that are super, super effective uh, against a, against a block tight end. This one is fairly good. It honestly is. If you watch it, it'll come in probably 75% of the time against a, against a block tight end. But the ones we have in the guide are 100% foolproof. You'll scream uh, against a block tight end. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. This is just a simple way to me that you can seriously put a ton, a ton of pressure on your opponent uh, in this game. That time I was trying something out and it kind of messed up the blitz angles. But if you want to get my full uh, nickel 
two four five odd defensive guy this defense is insane i can't tell you i seriously it is so good um you are going to send so much pressure at your opponent through this this thing there's so many pressures there's two man pressure three man pressure today we showed you a five man blitzing concept and it's really simple that's what's crazy is you don't have to do a whole lot to get this to work and that's even better for this defense so thanks for watching the video if you want to get the full defensive guide there's a link in the description all you gotta do is click that it'll take you right to the website where you can get the guide for just 15 bucks